Hey what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to speak about something a little bit different today thanks to the guys over at RaceLogic who provided me with their VBOX SIM. Now what is the VBOX SIM? Essentially it's a data logger. If we've all, I'm assuming on this channel, watched any kind of motorsport you've probably seen a little blue box on the onboard of vehicles and that is essentially what the VBOX SIM is but for sim racing games. Now all of the main ones are covered. For me personally I use it for R Factor 2 and I use it for Assetto Corsa Competizione or however we pronounce that one. I never ever get that right. So essentially you're seeing a bit of footage in the background now of the promotional video for what this is and it kind of explains everything you need to know. It's essentially a data logger. It takes what those real life race cars have and turns it into something that you can use within your sim racing games to allow yourself to study your own lap times, see where you're going too slow, see how your setup changes your overall lap time and pretty much gives you the real world experience. Now for me personally I've been using this for just over a month at this point and whilst I don't play R Factor or uh, so of course every single day when I have been using it I've always been having this on uh, in terms of you know having it there handy so I can see where my setups are changing my lap times where I'm going wrong and where I can improve it will literally show you everything as you are seeing it may just look like a cluster of you know numbers and such and graphs but it does really make sense lap to lap you can compare exactly where you were on track exactly how fast you was hitting the straights depending on how your car is set up where you can improve and realistically overall improve your entire sim racing experience now for me personally like i said although i don't use it every day it's been a handy little tool in just improving my race craft before i dive into the likes of lfm and stuff like that so for me r factor 2 is where i do a lot of my lfm racing when i can i don't always get chance because of other things around in the real world but when i do i usually get this on to get a bit of practice in you know kind of copy and paste the settings over and then just see where i can make up time and where i'm losing time and that is what this is a full blown data logger it takes what has been used in the real world for many many years for just seeing how good the professionals are and makes it an entire package for sim racing games now in terms of price point it is not cheap i am not gonna lie but if you take your sim racing seriously this is a great tool for just getting faster and realizing just where you're going wrong so it does retail for a hundred pounds which like i said isn't cheap but compared to those real life little blue boxes we're seeing that is a absolute steal especially if you take it seriously in terms of supported games iRacing, R Factor, R Factor 2, Project Cars, Assetto Corsa, F1 games, they are all supported. Now, this hasn't actually been updated. This one's taken from Steam, but it does, I believe, support to the likes of F1 22, which probably means that F1 23 will be supported as well as a few other of the main racing sims. And this is mainly catered towards PC. If you're a console racer only, then, well, you don't really need to worry about this. But let's be honest, if you're taking your racing sim seriously, more than likely you're going to be league racing and such on PC. It is usually just the best way to go about it. It's where the more serious sims are and this tool has come in massively handy. Like I said, if I'm preparing for an LFM race, considering they run on a weekly basis, I will literally grab the settings, set it up in game and then go ahead and use this to kind of track where I'm going to get a decent bit of practice before I go ahead and actually tackle it this way i'm not kind of you know jumping into the experience and kind of hanging around at the back and getting things wrong i've got a good idea of exactly how i need to get around the track and this is exactly what this is like i said this is essentially what the pros have been using for years in real world motorsport turned into something you can use for your sim racing experience so would i recommend it and would it actually make you faster a hundred percent i've seen my average lap times at most places on these pc sims especially r factor improve by at least one or two seconds just by studying my own footage and realizing just where i'm going wrong if i want to go ahead and change my setup if i'm doing you know non-lfm races where that's usually set in stone then well i can do that and i can see if it's kind of being a detriment to my overall performance 
or if it's allowing me to gain extra extra time and shave off those seconds where I might be going completely wrong with a different setup. So yes, I would recommend it if you take your sim racing seriously. Like I said, for me personally, it's allowed me to improve massively in just over a month so i'm pretty excited to see where i'm going to be six months down the line when obviously i you know i'm going ahead and running these games a lot more and uh, really kind of diving into the likes of league racing and such so i do fully recommend it now again like i said if you're on console sadly no you can't go ahead and grab this but if you are into your pc sim racing which i know a bunch of people are and a lot of people have kind of gone over to pc sim racing recently then this is something i would fully recommend looking into yes it is a bit at first so some people may be gimmicky but i completely argue against that like i said i've been using this just over a month and i don't even use it every day and already on average at most of the tracks i've took a second to two seconds off of my lap time so yes it is fully worth it if you're into league racing if you're into esports would i recommend checking out the v-box sim 100 percent yes it will make you faster just by studying your own lap times you can see where you're going wrong and you can see where you're going right so thank you so much for joining me i just thought i'd give these guys a little bit of a shout out i didn't have to do this but i fully wanted to and uh, yeah big thank you to those guys over at race logic big thank you for allowing me to improve my sim racing experience and get much much quicker it's been something i've been after for a massively long time and i'm glad to see something like this is supporting those pc sim racers that's going to be it from me thank you so much for watching again a big shout out to race logic for providing me with this software i've had an absolute blast and i cannot wait to see where it takes me in the next few months hopefully i can continue to shave that time off have a great day guys peace